Hey guys, it's February 15th and we're in TD Bank. So, I have a bunch of coins like I showed you guys in the last vlog a couple of days ago and I'm trying to figure out on the price is right. Oh wait, it's day 46? Here are the coins and this is where you get to guess what it is. So now I'm gonna make my prediction. What do you think it is? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to say that it's about I want to say forty dollars, like forty dollars and thirty-two cents. <laughs> All right, so I'm playing the Price Is Right, and that's my guess. I'm probably wrong, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Here we go in. Take out all the dangerous shit. <laughs> It's still counting in the moment of truth. It's not that many coins though. Wow, you're a lot of coins. Alright, drum roll. <gasps> you are so close! Oh my god, you went back close though. <laughs> I know I was hella not close. Damn. I should have said 50. It was actually an exact number. We messed up and it was actually fifty dollars. I'm actually kind of upset. <laughs> but yeah, why are you lying? She said that last time. I just put like five coins in there. She's a liar, this little kid. But anyways, we redid it again. Let's see what happens. Alright, we're done. Our, our grand total better be one. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna look at us and be like, yeah. <laughs> really though? Really good though? You obviously knew. You obviously knew. Hold this. Yeah. Alright, we'll be back. So we just finished uh, putting the coins in and we figured out that the prize is just for little kids, but it was still dope. I learned a lot today in like five minutes. <laughs> First of all, I learned that these lollipops are both the same flavor. <laughs> Hashtag spoiler. Um, and also, we got these. I got coin banks to put my coin stuff in, so I'm happy. Yeah, I got my prize still. I almost got a coloring book. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm rich. Let's go. We'll see you guys later. Push! Oh! And I'm back home finally after a long day filled with exercising and sleep. <laughs> uh, finally got all my coins together, got my art supplies, ran some errands. That shit was dope. Bought a lot of stuff. It was very expensive. Also, funny story of the day while walking around after TD Bank, well, on our way to TD Bank, saw a bunch of people trying to buy Yeezys, questioned them really hard, trying to buy like $2,000 sneakers. Correct me if I'm wrong, if they're not that much, but still, there's a lot of people waiting online for sneakers. Granted, everybody has their own thing that they like. I'm just not somebody to spend that much on something I'm just gonna put on my foot or idolize and never wear. So, that's the thing. So this is part what part four of my road to MAGFest segment and what you can expect at MAGFest. One of the other things that is very interesting that I like at MAGFest that I didn't really think was a big thing, but actually is, is cosplay. That's something that's actually really important too because people like to dress up as their favorite video game characters. It never came as important to me because I never did it, so that wasn't my reason for going. But since the venue is so nice, it's it would be such a waste to not take pictures in such a beautiful place. So why not dress up as your favorite video game character and take nice pictures? It's like a win-win. So you'll see various cosplayers from across the board, from just starting out to the pro ones, and they're all good just to see and take pictures. So that's a very nice thing, which I will be doing with my camera. So yeah, if you're a cosplayer, that's one thing. That's another aspect to MAGFest that you will definitely enjoy. So yeah, that one's really short-lived because I don't actually know much about the subject of cosplaying. I've only tried it about maybe like twice in my life and it was too much work for me. I noticed that I'm a creative person, but I'm not creative enough to make my own costume. That's too much, that's a different realm for me that just doesn't apply to me. But 
I can admire it because people put a lot of time and effort into it. So much time. So much effort for that one, just like one con or maybe like many cons that they wear it for. It's just crazy. Yeah. So that's your, your little road to MAGFest thing that you can expect to MAGFest info. Also, one other thing that happened today was today was the season series finale of Gravity Falls. If anybody likes it out there, clap. I clapped. Um, yeah, I was really excited to see the end. It was really sad. It was a tearjerker. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys watched it, if you even keep up with the series at all, I love the series. One thing I do regret, though, in the total, like after it finished, was that I never started the show from the beginning. One, because I didn't really know about it. Two, when I did find out about it, I didn't really care about it. And then three, when I finally caught up with it, it was too late to really get into all the mystery about what the show is about. And I'll make a video about why I really like that show and type of genre next week after MAGFest, because every day is devoted to MAGFest. I'm running out of stuff to say though. I'ma find it. But yeah, that was a great finale. Um, I don't wanna say anymore because I wanna post spoilers, but I wish there was a bit more. I wish they were gonna have more, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Maybe it'll come back and they'll be older and they'll be darker and they'll be crazier. I don't know, that would be cool to find out. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that ended today and one more good cartoon off the airs. Whether you think it was good or not, screw you. But yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video for the day and all the crazy antics and talking that I've done for like the last six minutes, seven minutes. But yeah, if you made it to this end of the video and you liked that I, you know, figured out how to use the change machine today and also taught you a little bit about maybe cosplayers that go to MAGFest, you know, hit that like button. Also, subscribe if it's your first time seeing my face because I make videos every day. Not on time, but every day. Also, Comment question of the day. Uh, what's a character that you've always wanted to cosplay as? Whether it be from a TV show or a video game. Whatever you wanted to cosplay. I've cosplayed like I was from the Akatsuki. I cosplayed Hitsugai Toshiro from Bleach. What else? I, com I cosplayed like a drunken fighter one time. That was kind of random. And then what else did I do? I think that's it. Oh, I also cosplayed Alan Walker. That was actually pretty cool. That was uncomfortable. What, those shoes, oh God. Okay, I think that's all my cosplays for now. Oh, and I have like a bootleg Naruto cosplay, but that doesn't count. And then, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, anyways guys, I will talk to you later in the day because I'm tired working out and whatnot. But yeah, so I'll see you guys, peace. Keep it 365 and I will talk to you later in the day. Good morning, boy.